In 1848, a railroad foreman named Phineas Gage learned the hard way that you can't cut corners when it comes to dynamite. While blasting away rock to lay track, Gage skipped a crucial step. What happened next became one of the most unusual cases ever recorded in medical history. Gage and his crew drilled a hole into a boulder, packed it with powder, added the fuse, but they failed to add sand over the blasting powder to prevent sparks. Gage tamped the exposed charge with an iron rod, causing a spark that ignited the charge, sending the three and a half foot steel rod upward like a missile. The rod shot up through his left cheek, behind his left eye, through the frontal lobe of his brain, and out the top of his skull, landing over 80 feet away, smeared with brain tissue and blood. Then the impossible happened. Phineas Gage stood up, spoke, climbed into a cart, and rode into town like a man who'd simply dropped a hammer on his foot. He even greeted the doctor by removing his makeshift hat bandage, exposing his pulsating brain. When Gage vomited, the pressure forced additional fragments out of the opening. Gage lived 12 more years, held jobs, and even worked as a stagecoach driver. Today, his skull and tamping iron sit in Harvard's medical museum, a reminder that the human brain is both fragile and insanely resilient. Gage's survival became one of the strangest and most baffling medical cases ever recorded, and it's yet another reminder that reality is way sicker than fiction. This isn't legend. This is sick history.